Hello everyone, in this lesson, you're going to learn the steps to enable Bluetooth on Windows 11. If you want to turn on Bluetooth to connect compatible devices to your computer, such as keyboards, mice, headphones, camera, etc., there are multiple ways that you can complete this task. And on this video, you're going to learn how. Okay, let's go into the steps to enable Bluetooth on Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. The first method includes using the settings app and to do that open start and look for settings. Then go to Bluetooth and devices. If the computer has a Bluetooth adapter, you're going to find it right here. And to turn on the feature, you just need to turn on the toggle switch. In the same way, you can turn off the toggle switch to disable the feature. Finally, you can open the devices page and that will also include an option to turn Bluetooth on and off. And from this page, you can review all the devices connected to your computer. And if we scroll down, you can also click on more Bluetooth settings and that will bring up this legacy control panel style page that allows you to change some of the settings for Bluetooth. For example, from here, you can prevent other devices from seeing your computer through Bluetooth. And under the notification section, you can disable or enable the ability to receive alerts when a new Bluetooth device wants to connect to your computer. However, this is not recommended to turn off on the computer. And if you don't want to see the Bluetooth icon on the system tray or notification area right here at the bottom, you can clear this option as well. However, most of the time, you just want to keep these settings enabled. Another way that you can turn on Bluetooth on Windows 11 is by clicking the network and volume icon on the system tray for the taskbar. And here from the uh, quick settings, you can use this button to turn on and off Bluetooth. If you want to see the nearby devices that you can connect via Bluetooth, just click the button next to the main option. And from here, you can select the device that you want to connect to. And from here, you can also turn off and turn on Bluetooth on your computer. So this is supposed to be a simple video on how to turn on Bluetooth on Windows 11. Usually it's turned on by default, but if not, you have two options to turn it on. Now, if the Bluetooth option is missing in the settings app, the hardware is probably disabled, damaged, or it's not supported or there is a driver problem, you can quickly check and re-enable the device through Device Manager. And to do that, open Start and look for Device Manager. Open the app. In here, just expand the Bluetooth branch. And if you see that the Bluetooth adapter is disabled, as you can see with this icon right here, just right-click on the device and select the Enable option. Let me give you an example. So let's say that the device is disabled Now it is not going to appear on the Bluetooth and device settings. Now, if we enable the feature, when we reopen the Bluetooth and device settings, we're going to see that now Bluetooth is showing up. Only the Bluetooth adapter will be enabled on the computer, but there are many reasons why it could get disabled by default or an application might disable the adapter by mistake or by design. So it is always a good idea to check that the Bluetooth adapter is enabled. Also, you can only have one Bluetooth device connected to your computer and working at one time. So if you want to upgrade your Bluetooth adapter on the computer to a later version that includes different features, you can connect it to the computer, but you have to make sure to disable the other adapter. Otherwise, the connection might work with the device, but eventually it will stop working because the two Bluetooth adapter, they're going to conflict with each other. My best advice in this case will be to right click and disable the device before even installing the new adapter and then connect the new Bluetooth device. And that should prevent different issues using this wireless technology. If you only have one adapter and the connection to the device is not working, it is best to restart the computer and restart the device that you want to connect and see if that fixes the issue. 
you can always remove the device and then pair it one more time to see if that fixes the issue. You can also try to connect the Bluetooth device to another computer to see if the issue is with the computer or the device. There are many other troubleshooting steps to fix Bluetooth, but the scope of this video is just how to enable and have Bluetooth working on Windows 11. If you want to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.